still if it's actually on the agenda. So I think if we put it on the agenda, it would, it would just, I guess, um, the intention is to find out or just get an explanation as to why the venue was changed is, is basically what it would consist of. I think we already know why it was changed and what the circumstances are, but I mean, if you want to publicly add it to the agenda so that you can state that, but we all got an email indicating why. <clears throat> I, I it was never. It was never intended to be here. Are we? How does this go? Do we discuss it now, or okay. do we? Yeah, maybe. Because okay, uh, I, I, I agree that we did get an email. So, um, but I guess if uh, if it just would be. Well, we need to open. still talk one at a time. I'm not okay. up. Yeah, sure, I'm you've got the floor. Oh, but I'm trying to. Um, I think uh, if it can. I guess we're just looking for an open conversation about why it was moved. Um, we received information, so I guess it, the intent is to just put that on a record. Um, is, is what it sounds like, what the request is. I don't think it needs to be an agenda item. I'll gladly add to my board report, but um, I can call for a vote. All those in favor of putting on the agenda? Opposed? Mo uh, motion fails. So we, with that, we move to information items. Parent engagement night, Ms. McPhee. Good evening. How does we're here tonight to share with you um, our wonderful experience last week um, regarding our parent engagement night and the wonderful turnout we had. Um, we, go ahead, Karen. we offered food, which is always an incentive. Mexico Lindo um, uh, provided us with a great deal on tacos. And so we had um, people coming in and eating and staff members helping to serve them all before the actual event started so that we could have them on a full stomach and then share what, what we wanted to share with them about their students and the, the wonderful opportunities their students have here in Waterford. So we had 74 parents. We actually could have had more, but we had 74 that RSVP'd. So we knew that for sure. We had 51 students attend, which was really nice. Um, some attended the session. Some went with the Mott student volunteers to the cafeteria at Pierce and did arts and crafts. Um, so they volunteered those students to help us out with that. Um, we had over 30 facilitators who actually presented for the evening. And then there were 15 sessions offered. Uh, we had child care provided for uh, parents that had little ones, and uh, like we said, the Mott leadership uh, had uh, students that were uh, uh, helping them with some arts and crafts and, and uh, filling them up with some tacos. Uh, and again, the Mexico Lindo tacos were amazing. So thank you, Mexico Lindo, for, uh, for helping us out there. I think uh, we may have to uh, have double the tacos next year because now that the word is out, um, people uh, will come for that and, and hear more uh, good information. Um, we, uh, we had Officer Trajos and, um, and uh, our assistant principal at uh, Pierce, Kyle, um, they did a presentation on vaping and it was uh, very informative about all the different um, uh, ways that, uh, uh, all the different tools and things that are out there and really to kind of inform parents uh, and, and have an awareness of what it is, what to look for and uh, on what to be very cautious about. Uh, we also had suicide prevention um, we had uh, a group uh, presenting on WIDA Access, which is um, an assessment uh, that's giving to uh, all students that have um, emerging language skills uh, in the district. That's an annual assessment. Uh, we had newcomer support. We had our, uh, some of our ESL staff, and they were uh, uh, very smiley and, and very uh, helpful for uh, some families that, um, uh, that came for that. Uh, we had the English Language Program and the Multicultural Family Center there as well. And just That's okay. um, one of my favorite pictures actually of the evening is on the top right hand corner because um, it's kind of three worlds coming together. There was an ESL family curious about how to get on the parent portal. It's actually one of our most popular, um, popularly attended uh, sessions in the evening. So there was actually a staff member from our data center, a staff member from our ESL support team, and a parent digging in to understand the student information system. and. Uh, get an, an idea of students' grades, missing assignments, or current assignments, really exciting. It was really powerful to have those three minds together. <clears throat> the kids weren't real happy, by the way. Yeah, the kids weren't <laughs> thrilled that now their parents know how to get on, but um, 
So we had the parent dashboard, um, which was a presentation we put together, um, which we shared with you at our previous board meeting on how to access. So we had some parents come and attend. Uh, we showed them how to dig into their own schools. Some of them had questions we were happy to answer. Um, another very popular or highly attended session was our Khan Academy um, session, which talked about how to use Khan Academy as a tool to set your student up to be successful in the PSAT or the SAT, recognizing that's really just around the corner. Many parents were interested in that at the secondary level. Uh, we, uh, we had student support services there doing a presentation on understanding the IEP process here in our school district. Uh, we had many parents attend the understanding um, your students' NWEA scores, recognizing that the window is just now finishing and that those data reports will be going home soon. Um, another session that we really enjoyed uh, sharing and bragging about the district is all the above and beyond opportunities that we have. Um, K-12, um, both within our school day and outside of our school day for families. Um, and then uh, another one here, which another, is another great picture, is one of our high school counselors uh, sitting uh, by the side of one of our parents talking about educational planning for their um, high school career for their students. So they got some one-on-one -on -one guidance about the programs we offer as a school district, um, whether that be dual enrollment, OSTC, our STEM Academy, um, so our advanced opportunities within, our accelerated opportunities within the school day. So um, just really exciting to give that one-on-one -on -one touch with the parents. Uh, we also, a really fun one was um, we had um, some staff from the curriculum instruction and assessment department work with some elementary parents on our math curriculum and give them some samples of math um, problems that their students do, particularly multiplication and division, because we spend a lot of time talking about the different strategies students can use to access information and become more successful in those two areas. So we had base 10 blocks and manipulatives and construction paper and markers, and the parents are getting down and dirty uh, learning <clears throat> how we teach their students use it, utilizing these tools. Um, we also had a session specific to how to support reading at home. Um, we were able to provide um, our Wilbur book, Wilbur's Wonderful Day, to all of the parents that attended. We promoted our Waterford Reads program, but provided some one-on-one -on -one support for parents. We had kindergarten parents there. We had third grade parents there um, that were really curious about things that they can do at home to continue to support their students specific to reading. Um, we had a ton of parent comments that evening, whether it be casual walking through the hallway, speaking with us after a session, or in the formal survey that we asked parents to complete. Um, some of the comments we heard were this was very informative and relevant, very informative and th those speaking were clearly passionate about their topic. Thanks for the child care, that was a big, that was very popular. Um, they were very grateful for a better understanding, keep doing what you're doing, and Khan Academy is great. And again, this is just a small, a small sample. One of the pieces we also appreciated, we did ask parents for some ideas on what would be helpful at an upcoming parent engagement evening. Um, and so we do have that information and we look forward to putting that together for them when we have our next one coming in the fall. And so we need to say thank you to a bunch of organizations and the Multicultural Family Center in Pontiac. They came and, and held an information booth for us and we were able to refer families there. Um, Community Mental Health of Oakland County, they partnered with us on a number of things and um, we really appreciate that. The Police Department and Officer Tarajos, um, the parents and student who students who attended and we had so many facilitators you know, administrators, teachers, paraprofessionals, it was wonderful just a coming together of people to make this a special night for kids and for parents. And obviously the curriculum instruction and assessment department, which Carly is over, uh, the coaches, the consultants, they did a lot of the legwork. Leg they joined us in participating with presenting and um, they kind of organized the whole thing. So kudos to Carly and her staff. Okay. Any questions? Other question? So the plan is to do it annually, once a year, like in the fall, to kind of, well, I know you did it in the winter, but are you planning to do it in the fall each year then? Well, this year we had two of them, and the first one wasn't as well attended. Um, so we're looking at what would be the best option. Of course, we offered food at the next one, which usually helps. <laughs> so we'll be offering food again. 
So I'm going to tackle you because that will bring people in. Exactly. But, and Taco Tuesday is a great theme. So. Yeah, it is. Um, but it's, I mean, such a tremendous opportunity. Yeah. And it does take a lot of planning to put something like, mm -hmm. like that on, obviously, a lot of time, a lot of preparation. Um, and so, I mean, only positive things can come out of that and mm -hmm. a lot of growth and a lot of learning for parents and for kids. So thank you so much for putting that together. I would Thanks. thank you. Mary? Just like to say it's it sounded wonderful. Um, and I think what when you get the reputation that that's going to be occurring and and it'll it'll be something that they can look forward to. It looks like you had, you know, the different levels. So even if you attended as an elementary parent, you can come back again in middle school, high school. Um, always good to have uh, information as much as possible to parents. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Certainly we can't do it without parents and any support you, you can give would be greatly uh, benefit all of us. So thank you very much. Next we move to School Finance Research Collaborative. Dr. Wunderlich.